hey everybody so this is just like a really short introduction video to just starting a webcomic template in comic theory i got a couple comments in the last video it's only about 500 views or something like that but i got one comment that said was suggesting i do a tutorial and another comment that was basically saying oh well now it's time to learn a completely new skill um you don't have to learn anything new you don't have to learn any new skills you don't have to learn code you don't have to do any of that you can just make you can just use a very simple layout or you can you get like a very basic pre-made layout that you can customize so for my webcomic website mine is just using one of the simple layouts and i've just changed some of the colors about the pre-made layout is very similar to a layout that i had started initially so i was like i've done html and css before i can make my own website and it was not as simple as I thought it was going to be. Making the archive page was really difficult and I was trying to do some JavaScript stuff that I just couldn't figure out. Um, but I started off with something like this and this is similar to a webcomic website that I had made at college during a webcomic unit we had. Homepage, archive, about page, everything. But I forgot that even doing simple things like this was really difficult. So before you start off, step one, before you start making a webcomic website, you want to plan the layout. So I did the same thing for this one. I knew I wanted the title to be up there. I wanted this image here, home archive about what navigation bars do you want? What do you want the reading page to look like? Comment section, etc. And I did the same thing. This is essentially what I did for anti comic. Hold on a sec. With this. So. This was when I was thinking of making something a bit more detailed, but all of these extra details like a PNG image for the navbar and the title page can come later on. I just wanted something really simple and functional. So just plan what you want on the website. Then with Comic Fury, like I said, you don't need to know any code. You can just go to the webcomic section. You can make a new webcomic, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it onto you. I'm just going to call it tutorial. Then you can change you, you can choose the domain so tutorial auntie and then you can change the subdomain and if you have your own domain that you've bought so i bought anticomic.com from google for 10 pounds or squarespace really cheap you can message the admin and he will gladly just link the domain for you it takes what all but a, a minute to just send him an email or you can message him directly through the website through contact us uh, choose the slogan for your webcomic, change the, the the copyright year and the name, the author, so I'm going to put me today. And then a description of the webcomic, so it could be anything you want, it could be the synopsis, whatever. Webcomic language, I'm going to leave it as English. Choose the webcomic art style, my art style doesn't fit any of these so I clicked the other. And then choose the genre, so I guess science fiction, drama, fan fiction. Tags, let's say martial arts, space lgbtq and then you can flag the comic so if it has violence you can flag it with violence nudity strong language or sexual content and if you like any of the pre-made layouts that they have you can click them and see what they look like and you can just go with those but we're not going to use any of these they have some really good simple layouts though we're going to make our own very simple layout you can allow ratings i disabled ratings because i have anxiety you can allow comments you can display ads to support the website and you can choose what the home page will display. So I had mine set to latest comic, so it shows this, it's the latest upload. You can use a chapter system if your comic has chapters and what that will do is when you make chapters, it will put them into sections like this. Or you can disable that if you don't have a chapter system. So let's say if your comic is like a slice of life or gag a day, you can enable it to be searched on comicfury.com and you can choose to review comments or moderate them and then after that you just click create so after you've done that you just click manage and if you can't find it after that you just go to my web comics manage now when you go to edit layout initially it's going to come up with html and css and if you know how to edit html and css you can do so do some more complex stuff but we're not going to do that today we're going to do a new simple layout and the layout is going to be simple as i said so it's going to be very simple, something like this. You can choose a favicon, so you can upload a favicon, which will be the icon that displays up here when you know when you load a website. And when you upload an asset, 
you can choose I, I suggest putting them in folders so that you can find them easier so I'm going to upload the favicon that I use for anti comic and you can rename the file so I'm going to change it to favicon and you click upload boom so once you've uploaded that asset let me close this uh you just choose it background image so i use the background image like this for anti comic because i wanted like a tropical feeling for the for the entire thing so i'm going to upload that asset here now go to assets design i'm going to change the name of that to background image because design is not what it is upload upload it to the same folder then boom We've got both the assets right there. Refresh, just so that it works. We'll choose these again. Background image. I don't want it to repeat because it doesn't need to. But if you have a repeating background image, you can do so. I'm going to fixate it. And what fixating does is when you scroll, the background stays in the same place. And then I'm just going to click finish step one and create the layout. Then visit the comic just to see what it looks like. And here we go. So. That's how I got a very good starting point. It almost looks the same as what I have right here. And that's what the simple layout is. But it is just an introduction to show you that it's really easy to just make a very simple layout for a webcomic using Comet Fury. And I'll do a little bit more customization just to, just to start you off and show you just how simple and easy this is. But you want to come back to edit layout and let's say I want the logo here. I'm going to go to overall. I'm going to change the webcomic title and banner. So I'm going to change box contents and settings. And I want this to be the logo. So I'm going to upload the asset for the logo. Which is this. I'm going to put this in assets. I'm going to change this to logo or I'm just going to leave it how it is. Logo header is fine. Upload file. Done refresh this go back to this again because i keep forgetting to upload it you go to the logo and i don't want the slogan to be visible underneath it but let me show you what it looks like before i do that you can change the alignment of the logo too so if i'm going to say left save changes refresh and this is what it looks like so i don't want the logo on the left obviously and i don't want this slogan there so i'm going to go back here change this to center and then don't display the webcomic slogan and i'm going to click save refresh boom now it's in the center if you don't want there to be this banner you can also turn that off and then you can click save changes and then you won't have the banner but obviously i do so i'm going to put that back on i also don't want the logo to have that white background around it similar to this so you just change the box style i don't want it to have the border which is this green border around here you can tell because of the color it's the same as that you change the background color to have no opacity so it will be transparent and i don't want a background image so i can ignore all that and then you just go back down to save so now the logo is by itself now, what's happened here? The navigation bar isn't visible. And what that is, is that the webcomic title and banner is combined with the next thing. So it's combined to the navigation bar. I don't want it to be combined to the navigation bar. So I'm going to untick that and click save. Refresh. See, now the navigation bar is its own separate thing. It looks very similar to how I've got it here. Now, I want to mess around with the navigation bar so that the font is bigger, clearer, and a different color. So you change box contents. I want the navigation to be in the middle and you can choose what you want on the navigation bar. So obviously you've got the homepage latest, which would be the latest comic. I want to change that to archive or you can just move this up. So I'm going to move archive up here. I don't want the first link. Search can stay. What else do I have? An about. So I'll say about and then you click slash about. And I believe about our is like a custom page that I had to make myself. Search, let's just leave it how it is for now. And you click save. And if I refresh this, it's changed the navigation bar options. 
change the box contents and settings so that's not what i wanted it's change box style so i want the font i want to leave the font the same color as it is but i want the font to be bigger i want to say 20 pixels and you can change the font here so if you know of a font that you want to use i've said font a lot you could go back to that so let me see what font i used for the official website so i used league spartan so i'm going to paste that here and then the link font color so i don't want the link font to be color to be this so i want it to be black so i'm going to change it to black the link font size i believe i have to change that as well and then when it's touched by a mouse I'm going to leave it blue just so that you know when you hover it. I changed it to green on the official so when you hover over it, it changes green. But I'm going to leave it blue just for simplicity's sake. And I'm going to click save changes, refresh. So now the navigation is like this. And if I wanted it to be lowercase like I, like I have it on the official site, I would just change the font or the text here to be a lowercase h. Just making sure that works yep there you go and that's just the basic introduction so remember the combining elements i'm going to show you what the comic page will look like as well if you upload a comic so you can upload comic pages or you can mass upload comics so i'm going to choose to upload mass comics i'm going to get the comic files for auntie right so this is what i want to do that's uploading three pages you go to step two you can also schedule when you want these to upload so you can space the updates by minutes hours days weeks or months apart and i use the scheduling a lot you can come to the comic page title and you can go chapter four page one of three and you can do this all individually it takes a while but it's fine you can add author comments you can also add mouse over text you can customize the author comments have different like text types so bold italics or underline of course you can schedule it you can enable html if you know how to use that and comic keywords so you can add tags and you can just copy and paste the tags throughout and i'm just going to click upload all and it will upload them over time all uploads have been completed click here to upload more so i'm going to refresh this and now here's what it looks like with a page so it displays the title as I said, if you have the chapter system, you can manage the chapters, chapter description. So when you add a title and a description for the chapter, when you go to the archive, this is the official page, it will change, it will sort out the chapters like this. Chapter, title, the description of the chapter, and it will show the comics within the chapter. And you can see all the comics within a specific chapter and you can hover over them and it will show you. It's really intuitive, I swear. You can change the order of the chapter, which is something you might want to think about doing. So if you have chapter four would be order four, and I'll just show you on the official site. So manage chapters. I have four chapters so far, and they're all ordered by one, two, three, four. So you don't have to look at that. But you can also, if you want to change the website, like the information about the website again later on you can do so you can change the settings again if you've realized that hey maybe the website does have quite graphic language then you can change that you can use like a blog i don't use the blog section i upload the tumblr you can change the webcomic avatar so when it shows up on the home page of comic fury so here's the tutorial page showing up there. It doesn't have an icon, but you, it would show up like some of these. I actually do need to update mine. But yeah, this is the basic introduction to very easy customization of a simple layout. And if you have something planned out like I did with these, you can make it look very similar. And I really would say to just kind of play around with it until you find something that feels right for you you can change where the comic theory branding shows up if you want it to show up at all but yeah that's that's how you make a simple layout coming from someone who found it very daunting to begin with and one thing that i do want to mention as well is that i have plans to add more to the website i do want to have a double page spread sort of thing going on i haven't figured that out yet but i'm assuming i would need to do it in code or to change like the width i'll learn as i go if someone's already figured out how to do a double page spread i'd love to hear from you i also want to do things like change the icons for the navigation bar there's all sorts of things that i can probably do later on down the line and i can always update this tutorial after 
and yeah you can customize it to however you want again thanks for listening hope this is helpful and happy creating again if you do decide to make a website with comment theory i'll see you guys later